Hi friends, as you can already tell, this week's video is gonna be a little bit different than our normal videos. It's been a little bit crazy the past, the past, well, past month. I was gonna say past week, but the past month has honestly been a bit wild. I have felt kind of pulled in a lot of different directions, which is causing me to really think through what my priorities need to be and how do I put my energy and my time where it needs to be most? How do I accomplish the work and the goals that I have within my work world and dreams while also still taking care of my own mind and body, <laughs> which I have been struggling with. I can feel that intersection of anxiety and stress and fatigue. I'm really tired, but I'm having a hard time slowing down. So all that to say, as I've been sifting and seeing sinking. Oh, that's maybe a Freudian slip there. As I've been sitting and, and uh, sifting through what life needs to look like for me, I feel like I don't have all the answers yet. I'm still doing a lot of that kind of just holding holding space and awareness that, that something maybe needs to shift or give somewhere, but trying to evaluate the things that are important to me and the things that I value and the things that I enjoy too. And all that being said, this little YouTube channel has been one of the things that I'm holding and that I'm trying to figure out the best next steps with. I'm sitting at my home filming this instead of at work because I just haven't had any margins within the work walls this week to actually sit and film, but I don't wanna give up on it yet. There's something that I really love about getting to have this rhythm be part of my life. And as hard as it's been to carve out the time and the space for it over the past several weeks it almost feels kind of like exercising <laughs> for me where it's hard sometimes to carve out that time in that space but I really enjoy it when I do it and I feel better when I do it and it's something that I do ultimately look forward to so I'm not giving up on this channel yet even though the numbers and the output sometimes make me feel like it's time as I sat through and thought about it I came up with five different reasons why I'm not ready to give up on it yet and that is what this video is going to be centered all around so Thanks for being here. Hopefully you learn a little something about me and maybe a little something about yourself in the process. I'm grateful that you're spending some time with me today. Welcome to Chez Jeunesse, the place of new beginnings. My name is Katherine Hubert and I founded and own a French inspired cafe where as a team, we are on a mission to change the way that our world understands neurodiversity and employs humans with disabilities. Our restaurant was born and is based in Greensboro, North Carolina, and that's where we practice and teach our mission and model. This is our channel where we dive in deep to who we are, what we do and why we do it. Our hope is that this content is empowering to disabled and non-disabled humans alike and that no matter no matter what perspective you are coming from, employer, employee, parent, friend, or Shazaness fan, you feel welcomed, you learn something new, and you walk away with a deeper appreciation and understanding of humanity. Number one, because I want the satisfaction of knowing that I figured it out, damn it. I've done many hard things as a business owner, but trying to grow and monetize a YouTube channel is up there. I didn't expect it to be easy, but it has definitely been harder and much slower to grow than I originally thought. The stubborn and determined part of me really wants to prove to myself that I can do this and to have the satisfaction of finally reaching a long sought after goal. I believe in my abilities and I love to accomplish a challenge. I wanna check it off my list. I do, however, recognize that this could potentially become a sunk cost project. So as much as my ego would like to crack the YouTube code, I'm also paying attention to the resources, my time, my energy, my money that I'm expending towards creating content and trying to remain open to the idea of letting this channel go if my investment in this content starts to take away from my other goals or if I don't feel like the return on my investment is equivalent to what I'm putting in. Number two, creating content is something I genuinely enjoy and it's changed the way that I engage with other media forms. I even find myself watching movies now, observing how the director is composing scenes, what props are being used, what angles are being used. I'm certainly not at a point where my channel is that developed, but the interest and perspective that creating for the YouTube platform has opened up does show me that I'm genuinely fascinated by the process and that there's a lot of room for me to grow in my ability to tell a story yet through video. All that to say, I'm trying to leave room in my schedule for work that I really enjoy and this is that area for me currently. Number three. This channel has been an important part of my own process as a business owner with a neurodiverse team and also just as a person. 
I've learned a lot about my own thoughts and feelings and have also seen myself become quicker to articulate both. This has been really helpful in terms of coaching and working with other businesses and in continuing to have conversations with our guests and team. I've also seen myself become more confident to show my personality in front of the camera. It's been freeing to have this little outlet where I get to practice authenticity and my own quirkiness and regardless of whether or not other people like it, I am enjoying getting to see myself enjoy myself. Number four. This girl needs another income source. This may not end up being that source, but I've wanted to try. Restaurants are not highly lucrative businesses and being a business that wants to push back against the low quality of life standards that have become common in the hospitality industry, we are working to find creative ways of developing our revenue streams so that we can still serve approachably priced food while continuing to build on and improve our entire team's quality of life, both inside and outside of work. And lastly, number five, because this little YouTube corner has been so kind and encouraging. I learned so much from the comments that are left, from people that I know, and from people that I don't. It's been a real gift to engage with humans that I never would have encountered if it hadn't been for this platform. It makes me feel less lonely in this work journey. And when I run into people in Greensboro who say things like, please keep going, or I love watching your videos, it encourages me that I'm not the only one who is being impacted by the time and effort put in. So thank you for being here. Thank you for propping up and growing this channel and for boosting my energy and my heart. It's a true honor to have you here. Shazen S teammates, your keyword for this week is fig tree. And if you're a Shazen S regular and you're watching this video, your keyword is the same. And if you come in and you tell us that keyword in person, you can have a drink of your choice, non-alcoholic on the house.